pay-per-view time. We are back. It's time for Hell in a Cell. As of Thursday at 8.27 p.m., we only have five matches. But I'm sure that is going to change. But welcome to a brand new episode of Can We Talk Wrestling, And we are predicting this Sunday's Hell in a Cell. said there's only five matches so I'm gonna predict that two matches are gonna be added the pre-show match is going to be the Street Profits versus Oz and Gable and I'm also going to assume that that third Hell in the Cell match is going to be for Seth Rollins and Cesaro this match needs a stipulation this is the fourth time we're gonna see them wrestle I'm assuming it's gonna be announced later today and if that does happen I am picking Rollins just because he's lost a lot and he needs it so that's our prediction on that. Now, for matches that are actually announced on the card. First, we're going to start off with the match that was announced this Monday on Raw, which is Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler. So, I picked Alexa Bliss. There's going to be some nonsense voodoo here. This is also the last pay-per-view where they could kind of pull that off, which is why I believe they're taking a Lily off of TV, because they can't pull that when they're in front of live crowds. So, I think Alexa Bliss is going to win by some magical thing. Don't know what which is going to lead to another match on Raw, and that's going to be the repeat match on Raw that we see for weeks to come. So I'm going with Alexa Bliss. Now, kicking off into the Hell in a Cell matches, we're going to go with Rey Mysterio versus Roman Reigns. This is probably the most predictable match to pick on the show. Rey Mysterio is not going to win. Roman's going to win clean here. He is too dominant. You don't want to take the title off of him right now. He is probably the best thing that's happening on SmackDown right now. With this whole storyline with the Usos, I could see this being the pay-per-view depending on what happens on SmackDown where the Usos finally turn on Reigns and go and do their thing. Or if they're not going to go in that direction, this is going to be the pay-per-view where Jimmy and Jay fully turn heel and align with Roman. They'll win the tag titles next week on SmackDown and they'll be the dominant ones on the blue brand with all of those titles. Bianca Belair and Bayley. Now, for Bianca laughing at Bailey and Rollins last week hurt me. But this is also another no-brainer. You don't want to take the title off Bianca Belair because this would just be 50-50 booking if Bailey were to win and win cleanish. I thought that this match was going to have a stipulation based off how they ended at WrestleMania Blacklash with the hair um, hitting Bailey and that and how she had the hair hook the pin. Maybe there's going to be a stipulation ad on SmackDown. It was rumored it was going to be hair versus hair, but I guess we're just not going this way because no one has mentioned it. But I'm going to go with Bianca Belair. I'm assuming that the SmackDown where fans are allowed back, which is July 16th, that that's where Becky comes back. Maybe Becky... Well, no, because I want Liv Morgan with the money bank. Maybe that's going to be the SummerSlam match, Becky and Bianca. Maybe it's going to be Sasha and Bianca too. But don't take title off Bianca right now. She... Pretty much just won it. She's only had a couple defenses, so keep the title on Bianca and make SmackDown the EST show for Bianca Belair. From one woman's championship match to another, we have Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair. Raw Women's Division desperately needs help. Desperately. Um, we've pretty much had the same women's matches in Rotate, which is why Asuka's title ring was not that good. I'm going with Rhea Ripley here. I don't see Charlotte winning. I see them maybe adding Nikki Cross into this to make it a triple threat to make it rather interesting in the weeks to come. But I see Rhea picking up the win here. I don't see Charlotte taking the gold. I don't think Charlotte needs the gold. I just think Raw needs some new women's competitors to please, for the love of God, use the Raw Women's Division correctly. You know, they just had Eva Marie, they had a Piper Niven, but we need more. I hope this draft actually does something, because they need it. And to cap it all off, which I believe is going to be the main event, is Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre in a Hell in a Cell match, where if Bobby Lashley wins, Drew McIntyre can no longer go after Bobby Lashley in the title, 
thank God. And for that reason alone, I am picking Bobby Lashley. We do not see, we do not need to see this match again. We have seen this match so many times. Drew needs to go away for a while. Bobby needs some new challengers. Um, I mean, I really can't think of who. Kofi, I believe with Kofi and MVP, I think everything that's going on there, that's going to be the match of money in the bank. I'm going to go with that because I really can't think of anybody else that can challenge him at the moment. So I'm going with Bobby Lashley. I, the match would be rather good because they've had really good matches. But like I said, we've seen this on countless pay-per-views. And I'm tired of it. We need some new feuds. We need some new matches. Please let fans change that. Please, WWE, I'm begging you. You got you gotta fix some things. But yeah. Um, so those are the Hell in Sub predictions. Like I said, I'm recording this Thursday night. A ton of matches can be added between when this gets uploaded on Friday morning and on Sunday when the pay-per-view airs. So like I said, the only two matches I believe are gonna get is Ronald and Cesaro. I think that's gonna be the third Hell in a Cell match. And I also think Gable and Otis versus Street Five are gonna be the pre show. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for my AEW and SmackDown review. You could also head to my channel to check out my interview with Amy Rose on my second episode of Wrestling with Questions. We talk all about the Ring of Honor Women's Division, Women's Division Wednesdays, and of course why she picked Maxine Paler to manage, and all of that fun stuff. And that's pretty much it for me. I think that's all I have coming up. So yeah. And also make sure to check out Tiff and Kyle's stuff. Because I think Tiff is an interview tonight too. So yeah.